Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create text, it is created in its own type layer, which you can see over in the layers panel over here. Now remember to select the correct layer before trying to apply any editing changes to text. You can also apply layer effects and change layer options like you would with normal layers. One thing you might want to do to a text layer is rasterize or simplify it. Remember that text layers are created using vector-based information. If you want to use your bitmap editing tools on a text layer, you must first rasterize the text, making it uneditable with your normal type tools. So to simplify a type layer, select the layer from the Layers panel, which we just did, then select Layer and Simplify Layer from the menu bar. It's really that easy. We'll undo that for now. Now you can also warp text layers to apply a general shape to the text in a layer. For example, you can apply the arc shape to a layer's text to make the text arc like a rainbow. Now you can't warp text that has a faux bold formatting applied, nor can you warp bitmap fonts, nor any font that doesn't include outline data. So just keep that in mind, depending on the type of font that you're using, you may not be able to warp it. But to warp a text layer, first select the layer to warp, we have that selected already. Then click the Warp Text button on the Options bar to launch the Warp Text dialog box. So we go up here, give it a click, and we'll see the Warped Text dialog box. Here you select a shape from the Style drop-down right here, and you have quite a few different choices, Arc, Arc Lower, Arc Upper, and so forth flag. Now as you make your changes and your choices here you can see what the effect is over in the window. Bulge and so forth. Now you can then use the bend, horizontal distortion, and vertical distortion sliders to increase or decrease the magnification of the warp effect if you want as well. So once you find an effect you like you can use these sliders to adjust it however you want. And so you can play around with the different types of effects until you come up with the effect that you really like. When you're done, you just click OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.